Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Oh man. We go up the hill. I'm not a big fan of deferring on when you win the toss, but I understand. There it is. Gone. Oh wow, well, they fenced it off now. Now you can't even get over there. It's happening for the Steelers right now as they're driving in. Second and nine at the 12 with a minute 20. Oh wow, the grocery store is gone already too. Ben stays shotgun. Samuels to his right. He's back. He waits. He fires for the end zone. And it's broken up. The Holy cow. Coons is already gone. Juju Smith-Schuster. Carl Joseph, the safety out of West Virginia. With a pass broken up. It's third and nine. You know, Carl Joseph is the guy that you go after. Wow. All right. So I'm out here in Moon Township. If you didn't tell by coming up the hill to the Kmart that was once here, you know, the first Kmart series I did where I was there all the time. They fenced off the whole parking lot because that makes a really big difference, you know, to uh, have that, you know. So, anyway, I'm here at the Coons Grocery Store, which was right next to the Kmart, which just closed, too. I didn't get a chance to get in here before they closed up for good, but uh, um, let's go take a look at it anyway. It's pretty, uh, pretty empty in there and pretty gross in the back, and I'll show you why here in a minute. So, let's go. There you go. Coons Grocery Store. And right next to it, the Moon Township Kmart still empty and now fenced off because that really did a lot. My God, don't drive on that pavement over there. That's really, really bad if you do. <laughs> anyway, let's go take a look inside of the store. You won't believe what I saw along that back wall here. Fresh seafood butcher shop. What does that look like to you on that back wall? That looks like some really, really bad black mold. Now, I could be wrong. It could just be, you know, the, the walls are stained, but I think that's mold. <sighs> Customer service area. Fresh produce back there. This place is just empty. I think that's mold. I'm pretty darn sure of it. If you look all the way back there. That's pretty gross. People were working in this store. Yeah, that's definitely mold. I don't think you can see through these windows at all. No, you can't. I don't know if you can see inside at all. Like a little greenhouse here, looks like. Can't really see in there at all either. There's an air conditioner. It's pretty dark. Yeah, that's pretty gross in there, though, with the uh, the mold. <laughs> See, they left so many of the lights on, too. Pallets and pallets of gone, like shelving, gondolas, that kind of deal there in the middle. Still, that mold is disgusting. Here's the entrance here. This is where they would have the shopping carts here when you would enter. 
the doorways. They'd have, you know, gumball machines and stuff like that there. Little games for, like, kids, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> you could do that for me. Really? That sounds like a really good deal. Yeah. Absolutely. I have to do what? That wasn't in the agreement. You're gonna do what? With my what? No, 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 goodbye. Don't ask, don't ask. Anyway, here's another look inside through the front entrance here. If you see I back up a little bit here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool find. Only sorry I couldn't make it in here before it closed. Take a look over here. I guess they would keep uh, carts here too. Lined up here. So you can see by the very badly faded sign. So you could still walk back there if you wanted to. I'm not going to because it's really cold. And just before I go, one last look at your Moon Township Kmart. I'll show you that sign down here at the end of the parking lot here in a second too, the big uh, square you can see there in the center of the screen. I'm thinking this was an old Kroger store because of that square sign. They were known for them, so it's possible. That label scar is epic. All right, let's go take a look at the back of the uh, store. We'll go for a little uh, ride back here. Now it's kind of dark. Hopefully you can see. Wonder what, what day this closed because, uh, you know, a couple subscribers and friends actually alerted me that this was closing, you know, a couple of weeks ago. But I didn't realize it was that, like, soon, you know. I thought, oh, maybe I'd have a little bit of time because I had so much going on. So, it's already gone. Closed. And look at the fence. That, that awesome fence that they're wasting over here for absolutely nothing. Like, what are they accomplishing by fencing off a parking lot in a building that's locked up, secured, and has the alarms on? Yeah, you didn't think I knew about that. <laughs> So, that makes a lot of sense. Anyway. Alright, there's the sign I was telling you about. That's uh, pretty notorious for old Kroger stores. You know, Kroger used to be in the Pittsburgh market back in the 80s before they closed up stores and left. And this is the type of sign that they had, the big box like that. And uh, it's funny, I just filmed a food land that was abandoned and had the same sign. And that was an old Kroger, so I'm guessing this was too. I'm assuming it was. So, although it doesn't really look like one, I'm sure it was. So, oh well. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video here at the Moon Township Coons Grocery Store and Kmart, which uh, has a nice, lovely uh, waste of fence. You know, that's really cool. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video. Give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, you'll be alerted for more content. And until next time, guys, take care and stay awesome. I'll talk to you later. Bye.